Hey, what's up guys? I've been wanting to do this for a while now and I've just been kind of pushing it back and pushing it back, but I finally got it done. So today I'm bringing you guys Sega Model 3. This is a really cool system. It has some, some cool stuff on here like Star Wars Trilogy and obviously Daytona and stuff like that. So uh, let's get started. Uh, as usual, you want to do Control Shift Escape and then go ahead and do New Task. If it doesn't say Explorer there, type it in and hit OK. I'm not going to hit OK because mine is already running, so I'm going to close it out. Next, you would select Hyperspin, and you would do End Task, and it would bring you to the desktop here. Okay, so first off, uh, obviously download the link uh, below. Uh, get that download. Once you extract it, you're going to have this same folder here, Model 3. So open that up. I'm just going to put it over here to the left of the screen. Then I'm going to go to Start Computer just to open a new window. I'm going to put it over to the right here. Okay, so next you want to copy everything that is here to the proper directories over here on the right side. So we're going to start with the bezel directory. So let's open that. And then over here we're going to go to Rocket Launcher, Media, and Bezels. And we're just going to drag this one over here. Now make sure you don't do this and drag it into one of the folders. Kind of do it over to the side here to where one of the folders is not selected. Or it will, if you don't do that, it'll go into one of the folders and you don't want that. So you want it to go like that into its own folder in the main bezels directory. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, next up, since we're already in media here, let's go over to fade and let's go into the fade folder on the left and let's copy Sega Model 3 again. Bring it over here. Okay, that's done. So let's go back to database now. And over here again, go to databases. Same thing, just drag it over. We're just dragging everything right over. Okay, let's back up and let's go to emulator. Again, emulator over here. Let's drag it over. And let's back up. We already did fade. So uh, next you would do games. We go to games and drag it over the same way. I'm not going to do it because I already did it to save time. <clears throat> next we're going to do media. And click media here. Now these two you're going to drag over just like this. And when it asks you if you want to merge the folders and override, say yes to everything. So yes to that, yes to that, copy and replace. Okay, back up once again, settings. Uh, for that one, you wanna go to the arcade folder here, settings folder here, and again, just drag it over. Uh, copy and replace, yes. Okay, and then uh, last, we're gonna do expatter profiles. For that one, you're gonna go into the rocket launcher folder here and you're gonna go into Profiles, Expatter, and you're gonna drag over Sega Model 3. Okay, that should be everything. So now that we've copied everything over to the right, to the proper directories, let's go ahead and close these windows, and you wanna start up Rocket Launcher from this shortcut right here. I already started it up to save some time. So what you want to do is go over here to add new system and we're going to name it Sega Model 3 and then we're going to uncheck clear old data you don't want that checked and then here add before we're going to look for Naomi Sega Naomi that way it ends up after Model 2 so you want to add it before Naomi and do next on that one for the emulator you're going to hit the hourglass and you're going to look for super and double click super model do next ROM paths we're going to do add and we're going to go to D right here arcade games and then you want to look for the folder we just added in there Sega Model 3 so scroll all the way down there you go, highlight that one, hit OK. Next, uh, leave it on no database, next, and hit finish. 
Uh, do you want to continue? Yes. System was successfully created, so hit OK. All right, then you want to click on global over here to the left, and we're going to add a few different settings here. So first off, we're going to go to uh, the emulators tab up here. We're going to look for super model in this list here. Right here, double click on that. We need to fix this path here. So click on the hourglass. And then over here on the left, you want to click on emulators and look for that supermodel folder we just dropped in here. And you don't want to do what I just did, so be careful. There you go. All right, look for supermodel. <clears throat> here it is, supermodel X64 R458. Double click that. Scroll down and select supermodel.exe open and that's all you have to do there close this out all right next we're gonna go to let me think um we're gonna go to okay we're gonna go down to select sega model 3 we're gonna go to the modules tab you're gonna highlight supermodel.ahk Hit this icon, fourth one from the right. I'm going to expand this window. And we're going to set widescreen to false. And you're going to close that out. And then we're going to go to settings and uh, fade, third tab right here. Exit delay, set that to 2000. And that should be about it. So we did the widescreen, we did the exit delay, and we fixed the uh, location of the emulator. All right, so now that you've done all of that, you should be ready to go. So we're gonna go over to the games tab here. We're gonna hit play to uh, audit all the games. You can see you have all of the games there. I'm gonna turn on my controller here, and I'm gonna select uh, let's do Daytona USA, and you're going to hit this little rocket icon here to launch the game. Okay, so you let it load, and then it's going to get to the title screen. select the race course okay i just killed that because i'm sure the the audio got real loud there so um but yeah that's that's all you have to do so then after that uh you want to close this uh this program out rocket launcher close that out and uh let's start up hyperspin skip the intro and then when you scroll up you will see Sega Model 3 is here. Now you go into the wheel. You have all the games with uh, all the media as expected. And you should be good to go. That system took some work. Let me tell you guys, that one took me a few days of hours and hours because the controllers are not the easiest to configure. You know, to configure them correctly. You know, so everything now should work with your... Uh, Xbox controller and with your, you know, joystick style controllers like the tank stick and the, uh, you know, extension and things like that. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, there's actually two games that have the, um, let me show you real quick. There are two games, I believe, only that are that are Xbox 360 only. So let me see that one there, Harley Davidson. I'm sorry, that's actually LA Machine Guns. That one has the little icon next to it of the controller that means you can only play it with the xbox controller that one and there's uh one more ocean hunter that one has the controller too so those two are only xbox uh controller compatible everything else is compatible with the xbox or your control panel although um you know games like star wars um are gonna be kind of impossible to play with uh with a joystick like uh like an x arcade joystick because it's just not it's hard to aim like that so it's going to be a lot better to play that with an xbox controller 
or with your mouse. You can play that with your mouse and use your left and right uh, clicks as, uh, you know, as your fire buttons. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and um, leave a thumbs up below. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.